there's a certain type of player which maybe I am that maybe they couldn't get in terms of creating and, and, and scoring goals and when I had four great years and the thing that sort of was at the back of my mind when I did leave was I hadn't played in Europe before and that was the thing that I, I, with the rest of the boys I would have missed uh, and probably would be more than a chance to play in Europe um, and that was a big factor coming back because um, I think if we're honest it wasn't the greatest of seasons personally or for the team but the highlight was I were here tonight you know, it's, it's a hell of an achievement Obviously, I'm going to ask you, uh, you said you were here four years, I'm going to ask you, you're proud this moment, and what's the best goal that you can recollect that you oh. scored? Because you were a bit of a goal machine. Oh, 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 yeah. Here United! Here United! Here United! Oh, no, the oh, oh, no. because it was on my right foot. <laughs> <laughs> I think somebody was screaming for me to pass and it just wasn't going to happen, was it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm running for the halfway line, I'm not going to pass in the box. Um, I was fortunate, I played with some really good players um, who made it possible for us to, to, to get to the, the level that we did. And all the personal honours that I got are great, but again, they mean nothing unless you're playing with good players. Um, but I think, since it, in terms of achievement, the game at Tynecastle, because we knew we had to win, um, to, to qualify for Europe, yeah. I mean that's that's like winning the league for us. Yeah. The league, yeah. You know, and and that was from what I can remember, that was a hell, a hell of a celebration. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I went along, but and rightly so, because we worked really hard for the whole year, and I think we played. I think we were a credit to the you know, the league as well, because we we played a good brand of football. Because that's what the, we brought to the club was the guys that could play. Um, but that, I mean, as I say, I won the leagues. A number of clubs, but that's the pinnacle. That's it. That's SPL. And to finish third in um, your first season, I think. Mm -hmm. It's a long time if ever that happens again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Okay, and before I ask you to ask you some questions, uh, just finally, are you still in the game? Basically, what have you been up to recently? Where have you been hiding? If you've been hiding at all, <laughs> you never hid when you were here. Some people will disagree. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, I've, I've done a bit of coaching, uh, mainly in East of Scotland, uh, just recently to the, the manager's job at Preston Athletic. Um, and up until the day I was fucking wondering what I'd done. <laughs> 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 I'd not rather be a player, let me tell you that. But um, I've enjoyed coaching, but I've always had a, an obstacle to go into management. I think Stuart's done it for a spell. Wisely got out, so maybe I'll follow him shortly if I'm not pushed. <laughs> but no, I, I mean, I'm, I've been, had a great career. I've been very fortunate with injuries, and if you want to stay in the game, you possibly can't play forever. And the next step is the coaching, which I've done and I've enjoyed. Management's the next step, and as I say, if it, if it works out, then great. If it doesn't mean at least I've tried it, you know. Um, I'm working, I do a job we work with a lot of young, lad, young people. We, I say autism and, and learning difficulties, having my, my son as well, we, we sort of the same condition. And I think I've speak to the some of it, it just makes you appreciate how fortunate we are, you know, when we think we've got problems, but not really. You know, we have to face the daily challenges just to get through 10 a day, you know, and I get a lot of rewards for that. And if football doesn't work out, we'll face it's only football, you know. There's, there's nothing good for Nope. Oh, there's one at the back. Dave, we have the same age. What hair dye do you use now? You didn't have to answer that after the one time. He said, you're the same age, what hair dye do you use? Did you see that? It took me about five minutes to recognise I was number ten. <laughs> Uh, listen, there's a few greys coming since uh, I took this job. You know, I'm going to end up with grey hair. I'm going to fucking make it. Oh, they're going to be silver. I'm going to take silver. Right, we've got one more question for you. Hi, David, nice to see you again, mate. How are you doing? Okay? Yeah. Um, listen. <laughs> 
a lot of the guys here that you know we've been here, there, and all over the place with you guys, like and all over the years, especially you know, especially visit you Stuart Marvin and sitting over in the corner and all like, yeah. There may not be as many polls like it as what you get like because there's been a lot of polls and a lot of websites and all the rest of like but the, the, a lot of people are asking, you know, who is the greatest ever Livingston player, you know, that ever pulled over you, you do the shop for our club like um you've came basically top Believe it or not, there's Mr. David Fernandez, there's Mr. Mr. Marvin Andrews, there's a lot of guys like that come up with. All the websites that I watch like and always bring you out in the top, like, and ah, it's you, David, like, it's just a personal question, and you know me, like, I've known you for a lot. Me back, you know, me back a few years ago. Who's the best player, in your opinion, that you've actually ever played with? You know, in your career, if you're obviously from Oklahoma. Who's your best player, David, that you've played beside? Great After two and a half hours, we got the question then. Who was your best player, David? That's really difficult. Um, there's a lot of good players. And some of the guys I play with in the second division and the first division are good players. And I think it's. I was fortunate that I was deemed part of the plans every time. There's a lot of guys who were let go in the second, first. In the Premier League, um, the obvious one would be Fernandez, you know. But I think um, once you got to Ken, this next guy uh, was was Gino, you know. I mean, fantastic player, two great feet, and from an early early stage, but like Fernandez, got involved in the banner, and and I would tell a story. And we're in Newcastle, <laughs> and, oh, 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 oh. and I, I just it showed you how he embraced can, the, the, our culture. And I think we went down. It was Christmas night out, and we went for a meal, and everybody sort of went dispersed and every fraction. So we're heading back to the hotel, and I kind of don't know who I was with, but anyway, I just clocked you know outside the hotel. It's a <coughs> <laughs> so I'm over, I said, say, who's coming next? I says, I think Archie's not far behind. And, uh, usual. <laughs> <laughs> so she's like, I, I have a mask. So I pulled out this mask, and like a, an old man. And I put it on. And I says, I'm going to jump out on Archie. <laughs> so I take that to my grave because I, I keep my straight face. Ah, oh, Archie, how you doing, man? I could see Kino, I didn't mind this camera, he jumped out. Kino jumped out, that's that. Kino jumped out, that's that. So, I think, um, special mention to Archie as well, because um, when he came to the club, he was automatically made captain. And that's unusual for a new player at the club. But I think if you ask anybody who played in that team, the guy's a natural leader, and it's really difficult to turn out consistent performances like he did when you're uh, organising everybody else. It's, it's, it sounds easy, it's no, and I think it's a credit to the guy that everybody took him on board as a captain and straight away. So, Archie's got a place in the top three, same as Kino and Fernandez, and even Big Marv, because he can hear the ball further than I can kick it. <laughs> He's got a heat like a bowling ball. <laughs> <laughs> and the only person that heat harder than that, and Henrik Larson will test it for testing. Henrik was having soup for about three months. <laughs> but, uh, but again, I probably left two guys that people will disagree with, but that's my opinion. And even Barry and Tosha, things like that. Um, it's, a, it's a really subjective question. You know, cause name one, name one. <laughs> oh, well, listen, if somebody didn't pass to me, then I'm not going to hate them. <laughs> so, can they could be the best player in the world, but if they didn't pass to me, I really want them on the team. <laughs> so, but it's, it's really difficult. I mean, to pin down one, that'd be unfair on leaving out probably another 20 guys. You know, we had a good team. We had a good team. And that was why we achieved what we did. Yeah. Because we had a good team. Ladies and gentlemen, the Golden Shield Olivia Legend is here to win them.